All right, guys, uh, I have a subscriber who's been uh, asking for a Sue Bones deck, and I've kind of been putting it off just because it's not a archetype I think is very good, but I will uh, we'll go ahead and showcase it anyway. Um, I'm just going to do a casual game with it just for, uh, you know, just to give it a whirl. Um, never really was an archetype that fascinated me much. Uh, I, I did... Uh, I don't have all the, I mean, I do have all the Sue Bones cards, but I didn't include all of them in this deck. Um, some of those higher cost seven and eight drops, I think there was even a nine drop, I just left out. I just don't think they're going to be uh, good and casual. So I wanted to lower my curve a little bit to give this deck a little more of a chance, even though it's not the full uh, package of Sue Bones. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, for my mana base, I've added cloud leopard so we've kept it to just science and life on land cards uh, as you can see uh, i want to take advantage of this galapagos to tortoise that says when drawn if your deck has six or more life on land cards your science cards wherever they are gain plus 13 power until played so that means we had to have six at least six life on land cards um so my only I think, what did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I put seven life on land cards in here. Um, so Clouded Leopard was one of my only only ways to include life on land and get this uh, energy regen that I was looking for. So I added, I added that card for that purpose. Uh, Yellow Jacket. Uh, again, just to kind of hit our opponent's cards. Uh, dinging over and over. Golden Rules, another card that is going to benefit us uh, by having 11 or more science cards. And then our Life on Land cards, wherever they are, gain plus 19 until played. So it kind of made sense to include uh, more Life on Land cards. So that's one of the reasons I didn't put Ghost in the deck uh, for that extra energy. I opted to just include another Life on Land card and kept my try to keep my curve low on my Life on Land cards. Uh, Border Collie is our other way to get energy. Uh, so when returned, he's just going to gain us three energy, which will be nice. We can kind of use that to maybe get some of these bigger cards like Sex Determination out of our hand. So there's not much to talk about with this deck. Um, the uh, Sue Bones cards, they kind of just combo with each other. So each one combos with one of the other cards. So like when played, this one... Uh, Let's see, if you played Missing Person this game, your identity confirmed wherever it is gains plus 20 until played. So here's identity confirmed. it, And then it does the same thing, but it's for facial rec uh, reconstruction and human remains. So uh, one of them I don't have in the deck. Like I said, a couple of them I left out. So we'll see how it goes. Um, not too much else to say. Like I said, just all those cards combo with each other. The other inclusions I've had are European Hamster. When played, the card opposite this loses 22 power this turn, and your cards adjacent to this gain 11 this turn. Just a nice little one drop. Also, Kultar is a nice one drop. When returned, this card gains 60 power and costs plus one permanently. Dwarf's a nice little buffing card. Also going to debuff our opponent, 15. Uh, we have Sandcat, just going to tax our opponent. Just another nice little one drop. And casual should be good. Uh, that's pretty much it. The rest of the cards we discussed. So let's go ahead and uh, take her for a spin. See if we can uh, win, a, win a game or two. Uh, I'm going to do the Bones deck. So let's try her. I haven't I haven't played this, with this deck yet. So it's going to be a first, first game with it. Check it out. Um, see how she does. As always, it's a good time to say if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, enjoy the content, please subscribe, uh, like, shoot me some comments if you guys want to see deck ideas or just see some decks uh, or specific cards you'd like to see, just let me know. Like like this video here, like I said, is uh, one of my subscribers wanted to see a Sue Bones deck, so here we are trying to throw something together for it. All right, let's see here. So we need to start getting our Sue Bones cards down. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Start getting them buffing each other as quickly as, as we can. Definitely want to get Kultar down. Start cycling him as well. Looks like our opponent's playing a little slow here, so good for us. I think in casual, though, especially with decks like these, it's very smart to keep your curve low. That's why I had to cut some of those big Sue Bones cards that are too expensive. Especially, I mean, now if I wasn't playing casual, I probably would have included all of them. But again, that like the nine drop and eight drops are just it's just too much for this this game type. With only seven starting energy, you're going to be struggling. Let's go ahead and get our energy from Border Collie. Should be able to win this turn here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the round. Sorry, the round. I think I said turn. All right. Looks like we're up against a new player. Looks like a very new deck. That Spartan combo is like the one you start with, I believe. Start getting these Sue Bones cards down. Just start keep buffing ourselves up. There's our Sand Cat. It's going to trigger, uh, making our opponent uh, a little more expensive to play his cards. We need to get this Cloud Leopard down now. Just get that energy going. Opponent took the lead there. It's okay though. We're not trying to win this this round. I mean, if we do, it's fine. But I'm not going out of my way to win right now. I'm just kind of trying to set myself up for the later turns. All right, I think we did end up winning the round anyway. We're up to nine, nine ener energy, so let's go ahead and play these two. Deck's doing pretty good, so far anyway. I was I was curious how it was going to do with, with the couple cards missing out of the Sue Bones package, but I don't seem to notice it, so I think it's fine. said I think it was smarter to just not include them keep the curve low for casual all right we got eight eight energy here so maybe just play these two threes Yeah, that's going to be enough for the game right there. That was a little too easy. I think our opponent was pretty new, though, so we can do one quick, hopefully do one more real quick one, and uh, hopefully we get up against a little bit better of an opponent to see if this deck is actually decent or not. So I don't think that was a very good gauge there. Let's try one more. Deck seemed to do okay, though. Didn't have any crazy turns or anything, but... It was definitely building itself up, working its way, working its way to you know good good turns there. In those later rounds. All right, hopefully we get a halfway decent opponent here. We can 
really see what this deck's made of. I'm going to start off with that Kaltar. I want to get it, again, cycling through. Try to get it back as big as we can. All right, Napoleon used his Napoleon Bonaparte already. I feel like he should have done that with three cards. He's tried to. All right, we want to get our Sue Bones cards going, so let's play two of them at least. It's good we uh we won that turn there, so his Martin Luther King is not getting that extra energy. So that's good for us. All right, I'm going to do it like this because I want to get that energy from that border collie. All right, looks like our opponent's going to take round one. Again, which is fine. I'm not, I wasn't trying to win the first round, really. This deck is kind of builds on itself. Jurassic period. Mortal Jellyfish, that's going to gain an energy for him. All right, there's our Clouded Leopard, so we definitely want to play it. Let's get our Tortoise back in. All right, we got a nice lead going into this last turn here. Let's see if we can hold it. Ooh, the Lovers. That's a good card. All right. Looks like round two's in the books. One to one. Let's see if we can uh, start staging our comeback here. There's our golden rule. Get that buff online. Not too bad for casual. Got the Yuri, huh? It's a cool card. Another good turn for us. I think that's going to be game here for at least, at least for this round. Opponent's going to have some good energy going into this start of this next turn or start of this next round. It's up to 14. Probably want to get our border collie down, start getting more energy ourselves here. A lot of little buffers there. Thought we actually had that, and then I was like, wait a sec. 
He's uh, just buffing everything up. There we go. We got some good energy now. Up to 12. Good turn here for us. Up to 350. It's going to be a pretty good swing. This might do it. Kind of seal the deal for us here. All right, so we're at 211 on our power. Let's see what can what can we do here. Ah, there's not a ton. Height's probably the best, so let's just do it like this. Get our max. And hope this lover's, you know, hopefully we can outpower it. Looks like we do. So there's the deck, guys. Uh, did pretty good. I mean, wasn't wasn't anything spectacular, but, you know, for a, kind of a budget-style deck or an early, maybe beginner-type deck, you know, Sue Bones is a good option for those those types types of players i think it's uh viable you know definitely uh, holds its own and again this was just casual so if if you did try to play this in leagues you know you probably would want to you know add the additional i think i left out two of the two of the sue bones cards so those uh eights and nine drops probably toss those in and play it in leagues on a big energy week i think you'd be doing pretty good with it you saw that one turn and once i was able to play three cards I think I got like 350 power, so the deck can do some pretty decent swings, but you got to have the energy, and since this is casual, you know, that's what we struggle with is uh, energy, so I had to keep the curve low to be able to play a deck that could win. If, if I just threw all those big cards in, I think we, you guys would have seen a lot different outcome in those games there, but that's why I'm here, you know, try to show you guys some viable decks, decks that can win. You just got to keep your curve low, especially in casual, so... Hopefully you guys can take that away from this and, uh, you know, tweak your decks, try to get your, keep your energy levels low, as low as you can, and uh, I think you'll see some, some wins, at least in casual, but, alright guys, I appreciate you watching, thanks.